Another episode of Van Talk. I'm a bit annoyed because this is fourth time I've, I've tried doing it and it just keeps fucking flicking off like I don't know what's happening. It's a GoPro Hero, um, expensive as all. I thought I'd get something proper to do it with and it's just doing something weird. It just starts beeping and switching off. So if anyone knows out about GoPros, do let us know. So I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to get back into the swimmer it the swinger it now because I'm pissed off. I'm, I rate it mode and all for doing some, but now I've got it's annoyed me like oh because I'm like fifth time I've started it. Close that window for you. So yeah, this one is marketing strategies for built for business. Obviously for us it's tailored toward building and landscaping. Now, not a massive thing that people take a notice of, unfortunately. There's like a big thing with landscapers and builders, like, oh, word of mouth. Oh, you don't need to advertise if you get, if you're good at your job and shit like that. Well, fact is, we're one at best there is around our area at what we do, and we advertise probably most. So that's that. If you want to think, I don't know where that's supposed to get you, being like some kind of, I don't advertise. It's like a thing. Like a running joke now, it's like, oh, well, I don't, I don't advertise uh, and I'm booked up till 2055 or something. Uh, that sort of running joke, it's just, I don't, I don't know, ego thing, isn't it? Ego, and people have got to really let go of that because it don't get you anywhere. they are not going to get anywhere in your life at all, having uh, any sort of ego. Um, there's a big difference between uh, being proud, confident, but then been like that is just shit and it's like, it's very common in builders, landscapes and trades. There's some uh, less than favourable people in our in our business, there really is. So to start with, I mean you've got there's many different types of advertising, like you've obviously got your um, you sort of hard copy in person stuff. So I suppose magazine, magazines, newspapers, newspapers, sorry, flyers, um, signs. Nah, we'll, we'll go through one of them. So we'll go for newspapers. Nobody reads newspaper hardly anymore. So don't worry about that. Um, flyers. Right, you've literally got to send about for like fly any comp. I were talking to a flyer company, and they'll not even they'll not even do it on less than three thousand flyers because they say you won't get a response unless you do three thousand. And then you've got to worry about if they're just going to end up in bin or something and all something like that. That radio on there might have to cut that bit out. I'll just go over it with some probably get away with it it's only capital so you got flyers um, they do work uh, you can go around ankle uh, up to gear them out I don't know if you want to do that not something we've done um, magazines again it's just not really a, a thing is it anymore I mean, you've got the building ones, professional builder and all things like that. Might be, if you're a big big enough company, I suppose it wouldn't be cheap. Uh, now, obviously, as we know, and they still have not, like, we still get a load of stick for it about social media. We still do get a load of hammer for being so big on social media by local people as well. And it's just, it's just straight up jealousy, like, of course it is. Uh, just because they can't be asked to go around because it's a lot of effort doing videos I mean all these you can see down there that's a list of planning they've all got to be found them topics and yeah like nobody there's only a few people watching them at minute but one day we'll keep going it will it will be something big but then we'll do watch them we like really appreciate it can't tell you how much we do when you're looking at us stuff and commenting and stuff like that so that's why we're trying to do things to help through proven experience, I can tell you what I've done, that's the best way, but we're not like, we don't struggle, do you know what I mean, so I can tell you, tell you what I've done, and uh, like I did with a lot of people, I looked up to a mentor, so you just got to just do what they do, that's, that's all I can sell out, you just got to copy them, like, sort of thing, 
so yeah, on uh, Instagram, ours is not very big, it's just started getting some traction now. I've got some friends that are carpenters that are very big on it for about 50k or something, which to us is big. No, it's not giant in scheme of things, but it is really good for getting your pictures out there and stuff like that. Videos, they do a lot of videos. Now, Facebook, which is our biggest one, it doesn't really seem to come up. It's like because it's the first one, it doesn't seem to. I don't know, it's like some kind of old school thing and I mean everybody's got a Facebook aren't they? But that's the main thing is getting your getting a page up, uh, do some posts, do some videos. It's that credibility, like amount of jobs that I see. And I have to say this, it sounds like I'm going on, but it's just it's just facts, isn't it? Like I know it's just whatever, but the amount of jobs that I see on groups and that that have had someone that have been ripped off and a shocking job and they'll tag them and so they'll go on there and it's just a person just a person like a, a profile or if they have got a page well they won't have a page if they have got a page there's like note on it and you just think what what are you doing this is modern thing now like go on go on ours and see how much stuff there is but you can see me you can see my face like get your scent on it get your visible you're talking and you feel all right you feel all right idiot at first but you do get known and people like it uh, and if they think about you it might just not just bring it into into the red light so we do try on it so if you are watching and you're not go over to Howard's Way Facebook you see a lot more daily content daily videos there it's just easier to do YouTube's a really hard nut to crack we just hit 900 subs but my god has it been a, a struggle now as as for youtube i can't really say how because i've got 900 <laughs> i've got 900 subscribers i don't know i don't know what you're supposed to do we've gone we've tried absolutely everything but no it seems to not seems to work very difficult um it seems to me you just hit it lucky so i can't really advise you on that it's a brilliant thing though isn't it like we're on it now especially for podcasts and stuff like that which is something where but this is a podcast. It's just a bit different from me sat down looking at me and somebody, some other guest. You actually get to see what I'm doing and that. Uh, so it gives it a bit of a weird effect because I am driving, so I've got to concentrate on that as well. So it might be it's a bit strange sometimes. If something starts to dodgy crossing like that, then I might go a bit quiet. But yeah, the biggest thing is the online presence. Uh, have a drink I think it's a huge thing um, lead generation sites um, just mega mix reviews I've I've been on uh, the groups on Facebook paving groups and some people like swear by them absolutely swear by them now we've been ri we've been ripped off twice this was years ago we won or didn't do anything and then when we check a trade signed up and it's just it's just ridiculous it's just ridiculous we don't our sector like the sat porcelain landscaping don't fit in it don't fit in into the what's it called their categories properly so you just sort of stuck in middle that look at that construction person you always got to give him a stare aren't you i do stare him down but look on <laughs> go from there because that's silly who was that idiot we go from on his head? <laughs> but they're all tech, they're all tech mick and that. But they all wish they had, uh, they all wish they had balls to do it. Put us an art there. So when there's also a massive thing with I know for a fact there's some companies around me who are like the worst cowboys ever. They're never going to have a social media presence. Cause why do you think? Because they're just, we know our Facebook is, you'd just get hunted down. You'd just be all over the place, ruin your reputation straight away. And that's a big thing, isn't it? That might worry people if you have any trouble with anyone. Because it is like rogue customers. If you have any trouble with anyone, you, you're going to be like plastered all over the place. And all I can say is, you've, you, like, you've, it does hold your standards a lot higher. Um, if you all do things right, 
you believe what you've done's right and it's to sort of spec and regs because that's a massive thing isn't it is like what comes up in them disputes is they've done what they thought were right but the fact is now what people think's right it's not it's not like to regs and they've got i've seen a few that have got all best interest cut that straight through wall yeah there's someone else been through it i bet there yeah this is doncaster this bit crazy bicycle path on side right where oh i was just gonna say right where's the time someone on bike look only man ever to use a bike. Well, there's probably watching be loads of fucking people coming round now. Nah. Got to go swearing. It'll tell me if I should go swearing. I think it's a lot more palatable without swearing, isn't it? Because I don't like to hear it. But mine's quite, quite uh, rare. Rare and only now and again. Like when I see something funny, it's like a reaction. It's just language, isn't it? What are, you, what are you supposed to do? Um, again, it's just, it's just what happens on van talks, isn't it? I've just like, I've completely forgot what, we, what we're what we talking about. I think I were about Instagram or something, weren't I? YouTube, let me retrace my steps. YouTube. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, he's put hazards on. Oh, I guess she didn't get that wrong, boss. See that dude there, he had like a, had like a fucking braided, <laughs> had like a braided, you all won't be able to see it because it's like fish eye, had like a braided, you had grey hair but it had like a braided ponytail but it like stuck to his head or something. <laughs> I can't say oh me because my hair's gone, <laughs> my hair's gone but as a point I am, I am having that pigmentation done gonna see what it's like there's this air transplant but it seems like a great mess about it so it's just it's just like oh it seems awful like the thing is sticking stuff in your head and that. i don't like about like that and going abroad for it as well i really don't like the idea of it to be fair but so yeah it's gone completely thingy to bits and all i'll have to get a topic to brought up better marketing strategies i do advertise get your name out there get your number out there get a website get some credibility facebook instagram get on them all it's a full-time job looking after him but it's worth it especially if you're not busy anyway you might as well be doing it might you and it'll definitely pay off but most people don't do it because it is a nightmare but they'll suffer consequences for it i suppose in future um, it's about optimising in it and uh, having choice and jobs and stuff like that. So yeah, that was another little edition of Van Talk, a little short one. So subscribe, like. Uh, I think the liking and the subscribing is a big thing. And also commenting. If you want to comment, you can say what you want. Like, please give us some criticism of what you'll think. Because we've only got a small audience. Tell us how you can improve it. I mean, should I? Should I be getting more structure to them? But I can't, I just got like ADHD tendencies and I just worry, I just like about, uh, venture off on a topic and that's it. Just go on about anything. But no, thanks for watching. As always, thanks for taking time out of your day. And uh, I hope you have a good week. Whatever, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Thank you.